Good day welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me again teacher Yang. For today's lesson let's talk about traditional Asian theater music for quarter 4. Before we proceed to our discussion make sure that you like, share and subscribe to our channel. Japanese theater. Traditional form of popular theater which began at the end of the 16th century and soon became the most successful theater entertainment in the red light districts of the great cities. Together with No, it is considered the most important Japanese contribution to world theater. Both No and Kabuki are unique and genuine expressions of the Japanese spirit and culture. Vocal pattern and techniques. One is Panchoshi or the continuous pattern used in speeches building up to an explosive climax in the Arakato oversize, supernatural, rough hero style. It requires an extraordinary breath control that only few experts succeed in achieving. To Nori technique, adapted from the chanting of jewelry, implies a very sensitive capacity of riding the rhythms of the shamisen string instrument, declaiming each accompaniment. 3. Ikuharai technique the subtle delivery of poetical text written in the Japanese metrical form of alternating seven and five syllabus. Vocal and instrumental features. Dances and movements are accompanied by shamisen music which collected and popularized the number of aspects from all previous forms of Japanese music. From Gagaku classic court music imported from China during the 18th century. Kadra performed in Shinto shrines. No chanter writes from Shomayo, the sophisticated and rich tradition of Buddhist chanting. Down to the folk and fashionable song of the day. The most popular shamisen music was called Nagata Long Song, which reached the golden age in the first half of the 19th century as dance music for the henge mono or quick changed pieces. Norgata music is very flexible, can be performed by one shamisen or by the entire orchestra of 20 musicians, of which 10 are shamisen players while other play flutes fully taken from the no and drum small drum katsuzumi, waist drum hatsuzumi, stick drum taiko. Shamisen, three string instrument. Katsuzumi, small shoulder drum. Atsuzumi, waist drum. Taiko, stick drum. Chinese theater. Peking Opera is a form of traditional Chinese theater which combines music, vocal performance, mime, dance and acrobatics. It arose in the late 18th century and became fully developed and recognized by the mid-19th century. The form was extremely popular in the Qing Dynasty court and has come to be regarded as one of the cultural treasures of China. The vocal requirements for all of the major roles were greatly reduced for Peking Opera. The joke, in particular rarely has a singing part in Peking opera. Unlike the equivalent role in Kung Q style, the melodies that accompany each play were also simplified and art played with different traditional instruments than in earlier forms. The popularity of Peking opera has been attributed to the simplicity of the form, with only a few voices and singing patterns. This allowed anyone to sing the areas themselves. Vocal and instrumental features performances are accompanied by music, usually played on three types of instrument, wind instruments, string instruments and percussion. The main instruments are Chinese in origin. The Jinghu, the two-stringed instrument played with a bow. The Yulikan, a four-stringed instrument that is plucked. A Sangxian, the three-stringed instrument also plucked. The Swanat horn, Chinese flutes and a variety of gongs and cymbals. The melodies are rhythmic and graceful. The melodies played by the accompaniment mainly fall into three broad categories. The first is the area. The areas of Beijing opera can be further divided into those of the Erhu and Zippy varieties. An example of an aria is Van Wadiao, an aria in the Zippy style that is sung by a young shed to indicate heightened emotion. The second type of melody heard in Beijing opera is the fixed tune melody, or Kokai. These are instrumental tunes that serve a wider range of purposes than areas. Examples include the water dragon tune Shui Long in which generally denotes the arrival of an important person, and triple thrust Ji San Kyong, which may signal a feast or banquet. The final type of musical accompaniment is the percussion pattern. 
such patterns provide context to the music in ways similar to the fixed tune melodies. For example, there are as many as 48 different percussion patterns that accompany stage entrances. Each one identifies the entering character by his or her individual rank and personality. Theater musicians learn their parts by rote since Chinese musical notation is very imprecise. Most music used in the Peking Opera has been worked out collaboratively between actors and musicians. Most is borrowed from already existing sources and recombined according to the requirements of a particular plane. Although they may be classified as string, wind and percussion, the instruments of the Chinese orchestra have no counterparts in the West. The leader of the orchestra plays the drum which establishes the time and accentuates the rhythm. Gongs, cymbals, brass cups, flutes, stringed instruments and more exotic items complete the orchestra. Songs are accompanied only by flute and strings, but entrances and exits are signaled by deafening percussion passages. Much of the onstage action is performed to a musical background. The actor's delivery of lines is rigidly controlled by conventions. Each role has its prescribed vocal timbre and pitch, and syllables are often drawn out in regard for conversational usage in order to maintain the appropriate rhythm. Even spoken passages are governed by strict rhythms and tempos. Chanted and sung passages are freely inserted into spoken monologues or dialogues. Thus lines are rendered in an extremely stylized manner. Indonesian Theatre Wayang Kuat, shadow puppets prevalent in Java and Bali in Indonesia. And Kelantan and Terran Banu in Malaysia are without a doubt the best known of the Indonesian Wayang. Kuat means skin and refers to the lather construction of the puppets that are carefully chiseled with very fine tools and supported with carefully shaped buffalo horn handles and control rods. Wayang is an Indonesian and Malay word for theater. When the term is used to refer to kinds of puppet theater, Sometimes the puppet itself is referred to as Wayang. Bayang, the Japanese word for shadow or imagination, also connotes spirit. Performances of shadow puppet theater are accompanied by Gamma Lan in Java and by Gender Wayang in Bali. Da Long as a source of recreation, of humor and of popular philosophy essential communication between the artist and the audience. Shadow play is an invention of man which reflects his experience of nature and of his thought. Puppets are projected by the lamp on a white screen. Non-jointed puppets were manipulated by the chief performer. The Da Long, who told the story to the accompaniment of several instruments, including some that are part of the present-day Gamma Lan Ensemble. Wayang Chkulet was performed in royal court and widely performed in public on religious occasions so that knowledge of Wayang became widespread among all classes in Java. Vocal and instrumental features Gamma Land Ensemble is composed mainly by bronze percussion instruments, augmented by other percussion instruments, strings and flute. The full Japanese Gamma Land Ensemble consists of A. Saron, xylophone of heavy bronze bars B. Gender, bronze xylophone with resonance chambers beneath C. Bohang, set of bronze bowls D. Gong and Campule, hanging gongs B. Kenan and Kita, single inverted bronze bowl Jeff Gambon, wooden xylophone. G. Rebob, two stringed fiddle. H. Selling, flute. I can hang, horizontal drum beat with the fingers on both ends. J. Stalenpong, the zither of 13 double strings. The Da Long sings the mood songs Sula at regular intervals during performance. In a nine hour Wayun Shkulet, he may sing 50 or 60. Nevertheless, they are considered relatively unimportant except as mood pieces. The same generalized lyrics may be used in play after play. Sula are never accompanied by the full Gamma Land Ensemble. Often a single instrument accompanies the singer, never more than three or four. The major dramatic function of Gamma Land music is to accompany stage action. Entrances, exits and fight scenes are executed in time to Gamma Land music. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming lessons.